Hey guys, people have asked, quite a few people have said, do a new updated tour video. And I actually tried to do this once already, like a few days ago when it was too dark. So I'm just going to use this flashlight to attempt to, you know, do some better lighting. I guess I'll start over here. And there's my light. And there's a clock that I always have to wake up to. This terrible, annoying alarm. And I've had this, like, since, I don't know, like, middle of middle school, maybe? So it's been years I've had this. And here are these, the few remaining sand arts. Years ago when you used to go to like the festivals like Towson Town Festival and like those kind of street festivals and stuff like that, they used to make these. They've kind of not, they're not as popular anymore, but you used to always do these. Sand art, you put like this colored sand in and make these designs. And I've had these for years. And I think I had a bunch more. I used to you could used to be able to buy kits at like MJ Designs and stuff, but they don't I don't see them as much anymore. And here's a picture of me as a kid. And me and my dad. I think this might have been in a picnic place. Me in the fourth grade. This weird scorpion thing I've had for years. Some of those snow globes. One for Halloween. Snoopy. San Diego, it's Max when it was a puppy. These things that have been here for years, I don't eat those candies. An extra pair of the dying glasses, some photo albums, this chair that we usually sit on when we do those video blogs from right here. I moved that one over too. And uh, this stuff's just been here forever. Those police academy things. And I go more into the autographs in a video called My Autograph Collection. And you can hear more about them in that. And I have, as you notice, all the same color clothes. Yes, I, I'm like Pee Wee Herman and Ernest P. Whirl. I'm big on the same style and the same looks. At least with this light you can see better than you really could in any other way. There's that Pee Wee Herman um, comforter thing. It's in one of like the Don and Murph Christmas when Santa comes over, like I pretend to be Santa and Don and Murph rob houses with him. Here's a boom box. And that doesn't work anymore because this someone was in here doing these pictures from like, one of these dad's books and I don't know, they pulled the outlet out and screwed the outlet up in the wall. So it sort of just sits there on top of these CDs and I haven't really gotten a new CD in years. I don't really get a lot of CDs anymore because I don't listen to a lot of new music. front of my door. I never really got into detail about this. But I have like a bunch of post stickers and a lot of these came from Hot Topic when they used to have a lot of good stickers. I know using like a spotlight is a cool way to do it but at least you can see everything better. Here's like an old picture of my toys. In the back of the door has like a lot of horror stuff on it. And here's the Simpsons calendar. These original thing, um, Charlie Brown Snoopy things that I've had forever. Some autographs. This John Waters shrine thing I have. Because I live in Maryland, so I've met John Waters quite a few times. Up here, some old stuffed animals that I have kept. My favorite one that I actually didn't... I had as a kid and then got rid of it when I was well, five or something, or six. And it's the My Pet Monster. And I actually found this in Hamden. I mean, somewhere like that. Fells Point, I think. And when they had this, like, cool, like that's gone now but it was like this shop that had kids dolls and stuff and I found that maybe 2003 the Billy Baloney that's the original one and these are some of the original Simpsons from when the show was brand new and these are some of the like the Rugrats toy from Hardee's when the show just started and these are the 
Jetsons toys from Wendy's from 1990. And we went to Wendy's when I was a kid just to get these ones. Here's the Pee Wee's Playhouse toys. And I went through quite a few of these playhouses as a kid. Somehow I kept messing them up or they kept breaking or something. So I ended up going through so many of them. And here are these from Burger King, I think. These Beetlejuice, the cartoon toys. And here's the... Everything's kind of dusty. And the thing is, I don't clean... I don't move the dust around too much because I have a real terrible allergy to dust. If it's sitting, it doesn't bother me. But if I move it around a lot, I have, like, an attack for one to two days. Terrible. It's crazy, but I have bad allergies. And here's a lot of old movie tickets from Towson Commons, but these are what was called General Cinema. And those ones, the bottom one became AMC. Yeah, things are really fucking dusty. Here's a bunch of autographs. Yeah, I've gotten a lot of autographs over the years and m met just about everyone that I've wanted to. A couple people I'm still trying to meet, but I've ended up meeting most people. I've even met Misty Monday and Dorian King. Or Dorian, or however you say it. And here's this South Park thing when the show was new that I got. My favorite mall, Hunt Valley, which was torn down. I miss that mall. I got that in the um, Spencer Gitt, no, Sam Goody Music Store. Me and Bill Clinton. Yes, Bill Clinton. Maybe. It's DVD player. I don't watch too many DVDs up here. I usually watch stuff on the computer. What's on the computer right now? Oh, it's Shane Jensen's video at Borders Books and the Mall with Kevin. Yes. Shane Jensen. Everyone go to his YouTube and check him out. And this thing, I always feel embarrassed about having this because in those crank anchors, that special light in his background on his wall, he's got these. The same picture. And like, oh, I got milk, yay! And all that. This is the newest one, the autograph I got from George Romero. I don't think that's in the other autograph video. I think these ones are, though. The Fonz. Gary Coleman. The poster for Silent Night, Deadly Night 5. And I always liked that poster because... I don't know, because it was the stuffed animals. And I used to always look at it as a kid and get kind of creeped out. And I actually just saw the movie, like, I don't know, three weeks ago. And it wasn't the best movie. But I liked Mickey Rooney in it. The drawing that John Kay, who did, um... You know, Ren and Stimpy did of me. I really like that. Everyone wanted the pictures done as like the you know, you know Ren and Stimpy and stuff. I was like, no, no. Can you make paint? You know, draw me as a Lomax. And he's like, ooh, that'll be difficult. And I I really like it. And then Bill Plimpton drew me like this, and I really liked his. He was a very nice guy, and he acted in. I did a little part in the Comic Con video I did. I think in 2005, I think. And that's on YouTube as well. And, um, there's the laptop, which I use for video blogs, for like those live video blogs. And here's the camera, the videos for me and MJ do. That's pretty much everything in the room. Well, there's this keyboard I have here for that I use for all the synth music that I do. Yeah, that's pretty much everything. And, um, at some point I'll go through, um, like I have in here, I'll show, Gosh, I guess I should show the undies drawers except for the undies. And here's like backups of stuff, like hard drive stuff. And down here, I guess I have a sound machine in here. I don't like like real silence. Here's like a bunch of photo albums. Let's just open up one for now. 
Let's see what we have. Let's hope it's not me and the nude as a baby or something. Herb and Gina and me. I'm going to look through and then I'll see if I can find one. Classic stickers. Here's one of me and my the teddy bear. And I still have that bear. And what's funny about this teddy bear is it's the same teddy bear that Jack Osborne has. And you saw it in, in you know, the Os that show, Meet the Osbournes, whatever that was called. And I thought it was pretty funny because we're pr pretty much identical in age. I think I'm like two months older than him. So it's like we have the same stuff. Here's the thing of me at Jimboree. Like, kids used to do this a lot. I don't know if they do it anymore. Go to that Jimboree thing. I got pay books of this stuff, and at some point I'll go through more of it, but this is the baby book or something like that. So I hope you like this little tour video, and um, I'll go through more at some point. Some magazines. There's some magazines and stuff down there. I think in here... Max stuff. I think a lot of this stuff's from Florida and Comic Con and stuff. So that was pretty much the video, and um, thanks for watching.